The bright lights when the game is on the line. There's only one ball. Who are you giving it to? Ellie Macera, Stony Brook, midfielder. She is an absolute beast. Had a game-winning goal over Syracuse a few weeks ago, but she's fourth in the nation as a midfielder in points per game. That's ahead of Izzy Skein, reigning Tawaraton winner. Absolutely unbelievable as a Dodger. She'll come up with draw controls on the circle. She'll push transition. She's got the hand, the savviness of an attacker, but she's got the tenacity and the vibe in the middle of the field of that true midfielder. She's all over the field, but at the end of the game, when you need someone to beat their matchup and to get to cage, she'll fight her way to the middle. She'll do it in crunch time. She's not afraid of that moment. I'm giving it to her. I know she'll take it to the rack and she'll bury it. For me, on the men's front, it's CJ Kirst, the junior attacker from Cornell. He's like 6'2", 215 pounds. He has that it factor, the competitive fire. His game is so varied in terms of the way that he owns matchups. If CJ Kirst is playing against a smaller defender, good luck. He just uses his body and brute force to own those matchups and defenders are on their heels. When he plays a bigger guy, he uses his feet. He kind of flows like water. He's the biggest matchup nightmare in college lacrosse because he has speed, he has strength, but he also has, and I think this might be his greatest attribute, huge heart. Like that kid wants the ball, he wants to win for his team, and the competitive fire and juices, like you see the emotion on CJ Kirk. And you can tell when they celebrate as a team. Yes. He galvanizes that group, he's a leader, and that energy seeps into the rest of them.